I found this new technique to draw double helix DNA and I'm really excited to share it with you because it is so much more efficient. Hello scientists! Welcome to Draw Bio Math, the tutorial channel that helps you to create graphical abstract for your research. So uh, I found this new technique to draw double helix DNA and I'm really excited to share it with you because it is so much more efficient, so much easier in the steps of creating it. I decided to make it a three-part series because then I can show you how to implement the same technique in Illustrator, Inkscape, and PowerPoint. Uh, you can find the respective videos in, through my channel and uh, then you can pick the software of your choice that uh, is accessible for, at your institute or for your personal use. So uh, without further ado, let's start to draw Biomed in Illustrator. This new method I will show you will require a function called grid in Adobe Illustrator. And usually you don't see the grids because they are hidden. Uh, if you go to view and hide grid, then you'll see this is your normal artboard. And to call the grid out, you can go to view and then show grid. Then you'll see uh, these grids as reference point. Another very important function that we need to activate is snap to grid over here. So this will allow you to put your anchor points exactly on the intersections of the grid. This is very crucial for us to create um, very good parallelograms. So now the grids are ready, we can start to draw our DNA. We will need a 4 times 4 grid. So let's grab your pen tool and first uh, find one intersect section on the main grid. Move it all the way down to the lower left here. And then move one unit away to the right and then go all the way up here to the upper right. That's one grid away from the initial anchor point and then you can close the parallelogram. And I will give it a dark blue color. Oh, that's the outline here. Okay, we have the basic shape, then all we need to do is to round these corners. So to do that, uh, first uh, I'll activate the uh, anchor points by going to direct selection tool and then select the anchor point. Then go to pen tool and hold option on Mac or alt on PC then click and drag the anchor point. Then you'll see the handles will pop out. Then you can start to manipulate your curves. Okay, so let's do the second one. Select the anchor point. Let's go to the second one, select the anchor point, and then click and drag to one unit away on the grid. And for this one, uh, you should put this handle, the one that's on the right, all the way back onto the anchor point. Okay, that's good. And then we can start to manipulate the button to anchor points. The same hold option on Mac, Alt on PC, and then drag the handle to one unit away. And then here, this one, drag to one unit away and move this protruding handle back. So now you have the basic unit to start building the double helix. So I'll duplicate one unit and then reflect it. And then place it over here so the top part are connected and exactly uh, as the width of one grid and then I will make the color into the lighter version then I'll group these two and that's one unit of our helix I'll scale it down 
to exactly one size, to exactly the size of one grid unit. Then I'll duplicate it, and then connect the bottom part. Like snap it to exactly where it is. So now it is exactly one quarter of the、uh, main grid. So、uh, you can see it's one two of the small grid, and one side of the grid is eight small grid in total. Okay, so this is one strand of our DNA, and then we will need to create another strand now. So I will duplicate it. And then、uh, to create the second strand, and、uh, we need to place the second strand at、uh, here. And the intersection of the second and third helix is exactly on the main grid. And then I put it to the back. Then we can ungroup all of these components. This is for creating a helix feeling and. Uh, to create that, we need to put all the lighter、uh, units to the front. So let's select all of them and then move them to the front. Yes. So this will be your basic unit for、uh, your double helix. You can、uh, duplicate it as much as you want and into the helix structure in graphical abstracts. So in the second part of the tutorial, I will show you how to create a pattern brush from this double helix unit. If you want to continue to learn how to make this double helix into a pattern brush, then you can continue watching the video, and、uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.